مرسی We're joined uh, by Malin Bloomberg, the country manager of the African Bank uh, for Development. Um, can you tell us a bit about uh, the work that, it does, uh, that your organization does uh, on the African continent and specifically, obviously, in Egypt? Well, first of all, it's really an honor to be here today to, together with the Egyptian leadership to recognize really the challenge of corruption and what it does in the country and on the continent and also celebrate the progress that has been made in uh, combating corruption. Uh, because as you know, corruption really kills development. So as the African Development Bank, this is very high on our agenda. So across the continent, we are joining forces with uh, the Pan-African anti-corruption agencies. We are also bilaterally working with countries that are especially keen to work more closely on uh, combating corruption, and Egypt is one of these countries. So we have a partnership with Egypt uh, working specifically on anti-corruption here in the country, and it's a lot to do with raising awareness amongst the population about what to do if you're faced with such a situation, because really knowledge is everything. Um, the African continent has a problem with corruption, obviously, because there's a lot of factors involved in it, uh, um, you know, developing nations and all. Um, do you see that there is progress in combating corruption in African nations, generally speaking, and you see that people uh, or the, head, the governments themselves are more willing and open to combat corruption in, within their countries? We're seeing that in many countries, of course, this is the case, where we're seeing that there's greater demand to really take action and this is why the kind of efforts we're doing uh, under the project with the administrative control authority to increase this awareness is helping to do this because also what we're seeing is corruption really hits uh, those that are already weak and vulnerable so it really works against the, the development and of course it's uh, very important that we're dealing with this on an international level pan-african level because finance does not know borders it travels across so in this global environment we all have to join forces which brings me to the next idea i mean organized crime is no longer a local problem or when it comes to corruption and organized crime it can cross borders how does your organization track this sort of thing and is there cooperation between different continents as well or is it just a regional sort of thing yes really it's a global effort that we are part of uh, working a lot with our other sister institutions and uh, in the end we have a lot of different mechanisms in place to ensure that the financing that we're providing to the countries which is often used by uh, contractors that come from across the world uh, it really is used for the intended purpose thank you so much for joining us thank you my pleasure uh, thank you so much